All right, we got Keaton making his return to the stream, and we have Equilateral, EQ. All right. So it looks like uh, Keaton started things off strong. Oh, going for the grab. I like it, but Keaton, maybe a step ahead. Oh, I love the patience. I know he had to rein in that desire to throw the forward smash immediately, so the wave dash back and then the forward smash. Fortunately, doesn't really get much off of it, but it was very... Um, very well placed. Yeah. That's... Should be... Oh, Keaton makes it to ledge. Alright, and he keeps making it back just to take it back right to the face. Oh, what a trade. I'm not sure if it was a good trade, but it was certainly a kind of a hype one. Decent fair by EQ, keeping Keaton out. Oh, and that dare somehow gets goes unpunished, but, you know, very cool. Air into a dash attack. The Keaton Spesh. Dash attack again, I guess. Oh, I bet he wanted to get that up up air. Or maybe he realized he wasn't it might not have been a safe. <laughs> Keaton unfazed by the dash dance. Throws out a single tilt. Alright. Um, the space, the spacey, just up tilt on their platform. Now, EQ is going for perhaps a bit of a cheesy stock there at the end, trying to down throw. But Keaton, he's been around the block a time or two. He knows what he knows what comes next, and he's gonna try his best not to fall for it. Oh man, that was that was wild. That was wild on like seven different levels. Probably too wild, it appears. Or maybe just wild enough. Man! <laughs> Keaton taking game one off of a uncharacteristically sloppy series of events from both players. Ready, and now, here it is. The FD counterpick. Every Vox player's, you know, worst loss of the matchup. Uh, the side be away. I bet that was a mistake, but it looked pretty funny. Double dash attack. Crazy. And there it is. Keaton has been loving the forward smash to clean up uh, Dox lately. And it's been serving him quite well in a number of matchups. Oh, great spot dodge, but apparently Keaton was ready for it. Oh, and this should be a stock. Yep, he's just got to rinse and repeat. Yep, there it is.
Yep. Chain grab. Oh, drops it. Now it's Keaton's turn. Or I guess it's just uh, Bill Joseph's turn. So going in. Ooh, dab shine. And then, the, of course, the roll away. Keaton not quite fast enough to punish it. And the... Okay. That, this... Man, Marth is really hard to edge guard, isn't it? <laughs> and he's... Well, I guess make Keaton kind of clean it up anyways. But, ooh! Speedy tipper right there. And there it is. Last stock game on FD. This would be huge if Keaton took a uh, game on FD. And it looks like he might be doing that. Oh. He's going He's going for the quick kill as hard as he possibly can. Ooh, and EQ mixing it up this time. Instead of rolling out, rolling in. Not a lot of Marth players do that. But it definitely mixed up Keaton. Keaton was going to go for the hard read on... But it's probably enough smash and take the stock. But EQ knows better. Ooh, I, that is probably, like, bad play, but it worked really good. So, very cool. I, I love to see that. <laughs> don't don't try that home. Don't try the land on stage with the counter. Like, nine times out of ten, it's not going to do anything for you. But unless you're EQ, in which case, you're going to convert off of it and, and win the game. Oh, and Keaton? Oh, not quite back on. This should be the final exchange. Yep. I'm not even sure Keaton could make it back. Yeah, that's going to be the game. Game two goes to EQ. Off of an incredibly nutty counter. Truthfully, that was insane. He deserved that. Just for having it pay off. Alright, both guys running at each other and not hitting anything. Oh, Keaton's footwork. Not so. Oh. EQ really trying to get a lot of mileage off that the counter, but that's only going to do so much. Good drill. He's getting a lot of mileage off of this, uh, the neutral air. It's surprising. I know a lot of Mars like to stay grounded, but EQ is risking it for the biscuit with his uh, aerial engages. Alright, that's a pretty good trade for EQ right there. Oh, and he's going for the suicide dare? Oh man, I thought for sure Keaton was trying to shorten that, and I think EQ thought that too. Maybe Keaton thought that as well, and he just messed up, but it worked out in his favor. Alright, EQ is pulling ahead here with a pretty sizable lead. And he's really going for that would look to be an in no impact land I'd be or down B on stage, which is I guess something he's practiced and worked into his game plan against Fox. So I guess if you're a Marth player at home, take notes.
Oh, the reverse jab? <laughs> All this off a of reverse jab? That's crazy. Oh my god, a stock off of a reverse jab. Keaton, you're nuts. That surely was a mistake, but the fact that he has the ability to just improvise and you know, close out a stock like that. Thinking on his toes right now. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm sure that was supposed to be a shine and gets grabbed for it. I bet he probably would have been grabbed anyways. But, uh... Oh, nice. We're back in it. Keaton's back in it. Keeps on trying to go for these up... Up airs on ledge, but... Randall almost kind of getting in the way of Keaton's movement there. Not gonna be enough. No, it will not. And Randall is here if, if, uh, yeah. Not gonna matter. Game two, or game three, excuse me, goes to Keaton. Take a game lead. Yeah, EQ is really starting to rely on that that counter off of recovery, and that's only going to work against someone like Heaton so many times. He's just a uh, he'll, he'll see that pattern and he's going to try not to fall for it. You'll only get him once, maybe if that. Okay, Keaton's managing to take that stock, clean it out. But EQ's kind of built a bit of a lead for himself here, full clean stock up. Gonna get the up tilt that time. The uh, wave dash back. Fair. I think, uh... That's a pretty cool thing. Usually you're seeing the Mark player rip out the uh, the old forward smash. But it, I feel like fair is such a, an option where you potentially could get a stock off of it, but it's way less committal. So... Eating a little slow there on his uh, recovery of the box up B. Uh, both these guys giving each other so much respect, but that should be a stock, yes. Sometimes you gotta run in and grab, man, and Keaton seems to be a master of that. Ooh, great spot dodge. Into the drill. <laughs> Two dash stacks in a row against Marth. Crazy. Yeah, and shines them with with no jump. It's going to be a uh, last stock situation. Oh, and the fair. That's so cool. Just out of, enough out of space to not get hit by the up tilt. Coming back in. What was? I don't even know what that was. I thought for sure he was going to go for a drill, but it didn't look like a drill. And jumps out. Doesn't get fared. Or tippered. Excuse me. Board smashed. Oh, man. EQ, you gotta space those right, man. That was your chance. Might not get another one. Oh, clean ledge dash.
So it's looking like Keen's answer to a lot of those fade back nairs is just going in dash attack. But it's not going to matter because we have 2-2 two -two going into game 5, EQ versus Keen. Now, that would have been a real shame to see EQ drop that last game because I feel like he had it in so many different ways, but just was a little less consistent than he needed to be. Oh, Keaton, speaking of being less consistent than they need to be, that, that's a, a mistake you rarely see out of Keaton, dropping that up there. A greedy fare, but no punish, so... Oh, and the platform's kind of screwing him up right there. If, there was, if it was at any other stage, that grab would have landed, and probably the edge guard would have been, you know, finished off. Bit of a tournament winner right there. Is he going to get punished for it? No, he's not. Making it right back on. Eaton's going to go high and probably die. Yeah, there it is. That's the rhyme, right? Go high, probably die. That's what people say. Air, jab, whatever the thing was, the stream lag for me, and then down smash. Crazy man. He almost got the cancel. Oh man, the short uh, falling up berries on the platform go absolutely nuts on that one. The Keaton's dash attacks are cracking me up, man. You don't really see that too often. And it's kind of seen in, in a lot of ways like as a scrub option, but Keaton's making it work. Oh, this is a shortened timing, but that was really all he needed, or all he had to do. This is his only option, because otherwise he was totally screwed. And ABC, or excuse me, EQ, trying to ease as hard as he possibly can, which, you know, good on him. <laughs> Pretty close to the win. Every uh, Everything he could do to make that uh, win come true, you gotta respect it. Guild pokes with the up air. Oh, both these guys spamming defensive options. I think they're both, they both got some nerves going on. Excellent grab. Marth, as always, literally impossible to edge guard. And EQ's Marth, extra impossible. And that should be the game. Yeah. Exactly. EQ does not miss those. 3-2 EQ to Keaton. Excellent. That's probably an upset, I would imagine. But uh, yeah. I'm going to go take a quick break. I'm going to find out what's up next for you guys. I will be right back. 